All right, YouTube, we're in the uh, small bathroom, that is the hall bathroom, and we are lifting up sections of plywood where the piping will be laid out. You can see right over here was an original vent that used to go through the roof, the old roof, and there's a connection coupling right down, about 12 inches down, Fernco coupling, and what happens is we cut off the old cast iron somewhere that, uh, beneath the floor when we're building and we're going to connect and reroute and revent that old cast iron pipe and you can see we're starting to run it up here so this is going to get run through our uh, new roof and there's an existing vent these are the downstairs bathroom vents and you can see there's the, an, an existing vent again metal piping, Fernco coupling right down below here, it's hard to see with the lighting, but we refastened it to, uh, to PVC, and we're about to run that one up, and you can see here's some uh, venting and piping, this is going into the master shower, we're going to run a new 4 inch going straight down through the dining room wall down below. And we're going to run the standard bathroom toilet piping right over here. And it's going to go down below into the dining area. And we're going to run it just along the ceiling. And then we're going to box it out. This way we don't uh, cut any floor beams that are on the existing Cape Cod. Right over here, this section is a cantilever. So you can see where we sistered. Here's the, the, the newer wood is the new beams against the older wood which is the old beam so what's going to happen is uh, we don't cut these beams because they're only uh, uh, seven and a half inches to put a four inch pipe through that uh, will it'll lose its integrity and strength so we go below and then uh, below the floor beams and box it out 